In the last section, we used a little bit of a trick to make the card component into something really reusable. First, inside of our album detail component, so here's our album detail, we passed the text tag as a component to the card component that we wrote. So we passed it inside of the card tag. Next, inside of the card component, we took our props object and then we added a reference to props.children inside of our JSX. Because we added props.children, our component that we added inside of album detail automatically showed what we passed to the card detail component. So I don't use in the word component, I'm just throwing around like candy over here, but I hope you get the idea. Basically, if we pass one component to another, it will show up in the parent as props.children. So we just have to provide a reference to props.children somewhere and boom, we're good to go. Also, a little bit more importantly, we definitely got our card component up on the screen. So that is fantastic. We're gonna move ahead now on to our next component, which will be the card item component. So the whole job of this thing is to make sure that we have some distinct sections within the card that make it, you know, just look a little bit better than what we've got right now. Certainly if we have just text inside of this card item, I would at least expect it to be better formatted than what we've got right here. So that's the purpose of the card item. Again, you know, I had mentioned a couple sections ago that we might rename this thing to card section. I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I'd be a little bit happier if I called this thing card section. There's absolutely no reason to go one way or the other. This is solely personal preference. So let's create this new card section component. Inside of our components directory, I'll make a new file called cardsection.js. And then inside of here, we will throw in our boilerplate. So we'll import React from React. We'll import our view tag from React Native. And then we need to create our component. And again, we have to ask ourselves, as is our standard strategy right now, should this be a class-based or a functional component? So just like the card, this is solely something that is gonna show some, uh, you know, basically a presentational component. It's just showing some information to the user. It doesn't need to have any lifecycle events or any data fetching, anything like that. It doesn't need access to state. So I think we're good to go with making this a functional component. So we'll make our card section component. By default, it will return a view tag. And at the bottom, we'll add our export statement. So there's our export statement at the bottom. Cool, so again, this is just like our card component. It is primarily gonna be used for some styling. So again, we'll start off with adding some styling. We'll say const container style, excuse me, const style. So here's our style object. And we'll add a container style to it. And again, inside of here, we'll pass in some styling. Definitely fewer, uh, fewer uh, rules this time around, so not quite as much typing, but uh, definitely still a few. First off, we'll put on our border bottom width of one. So if you recall, back inside of our card component, we specifically said, I want a border bottom width of zero. You know, we like turn the thing off. And the reason for that was that our card component is gonna have a lot of these card sections. So if we had a card section inside of here, and we had both a border bottom on the card section and the card, we would be doubling up on the borders on the bottom. But still, we do have to have a border bottom on every card section to handle the case in which we've got, you know, maybe a single card section up here. This thing definitely still needs to have a border on the bottom of it. So this whole border bottom thing is just to reconcile the issue between either a card or a card section having the border on the bottom. Next, we'll give it a padding of five. This is just gonna provide a little bit of spacing between whatever's inside the card section and the border around it. Next, a background color. And we're just gonna be very specific about the color that we want, so FFF. And then we will add in some justify content rules, or I should say flexbox rules. So I don't wanna to talk too much exactly about the uh, purpose of these particular two flexbox rules that we're using right now. We are gonna come back a little bit later and talk about exactly why we are specifically specifying flex start and also an align or excuse me, a flex direction of row. So again, we will come back and discuss why we are adding on this flex direction property here. Then we'll do a border color 
of ddd. And then I'm also gonna give it a position of relative. And again, I'm sorry, one more property where we're just gonna to have to throw it on here and we're gonna come back and talk why we're adding on relative later on. Okay, so that's it for our styling this time around. Uh, again, I encourage you to maybe pause the video really quick and just double check your spelling on all these property names. After that, we will add that style object to our view tag. So we'll say style should come from styles.container style. And you'll notice uh, ESLint has very helpfully let me know that I made a little bit of a typo. I really want this object at the bottom to be styles, not just style. So I'll rename it to styles and we should be good to go. Cool. All right, so just like the last component we made, just like the card component, we also want this card section to contain some child components that we decide what they are on the fly, right? For the header, I want it to be an image and some text. Uh, inside of the center section, I want to have an image. And at the bottom, I want to pass it a button of sorts. So again, we need to use that props.children reference inside of this component. So the cards.section component will add on a reference to the props argument. And then inside of the view tag, we will place props.children. Awesome. Okay, so let's give this thing a shot. To make use of the card section, we will go over to album detail. So the thought process here is that inside of album detail, we've got our card element, and we're gonna give it a couple of different card sections as well. So we can add in immediately a card section to house the text that we've got right here. So we will import card section from card section. And then we will wrap our existing text tag with the card section component. So card section is going to wrap our text tag, like so. And I think that we're definitely at a good place to uh, you know, give a little test for our simulator. So let's flip over to the simulator. I'll refresh it. And all right, this is definitely a little bit of an improvement here. We have some definite padding around each element. And you can see that now we've got a little bit more distinct bottom border on this section as well. If we wanted to, just for fun, I might copy and paste this card section to duplicate it. So I'll just duplicate this thing and let's see how it looks when we have multiple card sections. All right, so now you see the purpose of the card section. The purpose of the card section is just to make sure that we've got a nice little compact area within the card where we can add some content and be happy about it. So this is definitely starting to look good. Uh, we do not want to have the doubled up card section, of course, so I'm just going to delete that. But definitely our app is definitely, or it's really starting to come together on the styling side. So let's continue in the next section and add a little bit more detail inside of our album detail component.